we've all been there. You're walking down the street deeply engrossed in thought and suddenly you catch yourself muttering under your breath. Maybe you're recapping a conversation or strategizing your next move. A wave of self-consciousness washes over you. Are you the only one who does this? Is it weird? The answer is a resounding no. Talking to yourself, far from being a sign of instability, is actually a surprisingly common and beneficial habit. In fact, research suggests that far from being a sign of madness, self-talk is a hallmark of intelligence. It's a tool used by everyone from children learning to navigate the world, to adults grappling with complex problems. So why do we view this natural behavior with such suspicion? Perhaps it's the stigma associated with mental illness, or the fear of appearing different. Whatever the reason, it's time to ditch the shame and embrace the power of self-talk. This isn't about hearing voices, it's about harnessing the voice inside your head. It's about time we normalize this healthy and helpful habit. So the next time you catch yourself whispering to yourself, don't fret, you're in good company. Talking to yourself isn't just a quirk, it's rooted in science. Our brains are wired for language, and that includes the language we use internally. When we engage in self-talk, we're essentially having a conversation with different parts of our brain. This internal dialogue helps us process information, regulate emotions, and solve problems. Studies have shown that self-talk activates areas of the brain associated with planning and executive function. When we talk ourselves through a task, we're essentially providing our brains with a roadmap, breaking down complex actions into manageable steps. This can be particularly helpful when faced with challenging or unfamiliar situations. Moreover, self-talk allows us to tap into our emotions and regulate our responses. By verbalizing our feelings, we can gain a better understanding of what we're experiencing and how to cope. This can be especially beneficial for managing stress, anxiety, and negative thoughts. Think of it as having an inner coach, constantly providing guidance and support. It's a powerful tool for self-improvement and personal growth. Remember when you were a child and you would narrate your every move as you played? I'm building a tower. Now I need a blue block. Oh no, it fell down. This wasn't just childish babble. It was a powerful learning mechanism. Research suggests that children who engage in private speech or talking to themselves out loud perform better on cognitive tasks. By verbalizing their thought process, children are better able to organize their thoughts, make connections, and solve problems. This type of self-talk acts as a scaffold for their developing brains. As we grow older we may internalize this self-talk, but it continues to play a crucial role in learning and memory. Studies have shown that students who silently mouth words while reading comprehend and retain information more effectively. The act of subvocalizing, or silently saying words to ourselves, reinforces the neural pathways associated with learning. So next time you're struggling to grasp a new concept, don't be afraid to whisper to yourself. Your brain will thank you for it. Walk into any gym or sports field, and you'll likely hear athletes engaging in self-talk. From tennis players muttering affirmations between serves to basketball players psyching themselves up before free throws, self-talk is a common practice in the world of sports, and for good reason. Numerous studies have demonstrated the positive impact of self-talk on athletic performance. Athletes who engage in positive self-talk report increased confidence, improved focus, and enhanced motivation. By silencing their inner critic and focusing on their strengths, athletes can push their limits and achieve peak performance. But it's not just about positive affirmations. Instructional self-talk, where athletes talk themselves through technical aspects of their sport, has also been shown to improve performance. By reminding themselves of key cues and techniques, athletes can maintain their form and execute skills more effectively. Whether it's boosting confidence or refining technique, self-talk is a valuable tool for athletes of all levels. Section 5. Myth-Busting. Sanity Intact. Let's address the elephant in the room. The myth that talking to yourself is a sign of insanity. This pervasive misconception likely stems from the fact that we often associate self-talk with mental illness portrayed in movies and TV shows. However, this is a gross misrepresentation. In reality, talking to yourself is a perfectly normal behavior exhibited by people of all ages and backgrounds. It's a sign of a healthy, active mind, not a troubled one. In fact, the absence of any internal dialogue might be more concerning, as it could indicate a lack of self-awareness or introspection. 
Of course, there are instances where self-talk can be a symptom of a mental health condition such as schizophrenia. However, in these cases, the self-talk is often characterized by hallucinations, delusions, or disorganized thoughts, which are not typical of everyday self-talk. So rest assured, if you catch yourself talking to yourself, you're not losing your mind. You're simply engaging in a natural and beneficial cognitive process. Section 6. The Power of Positive Self-Talk We all have that inner voice, the one that whispers doubts and insecurities. But what if we could retrain that voice, turn it into a source of encouragement and motivation? That's the power of positive self-talk. Positive self-talk involves replacing negative thoughts with affirmations and constructive self-statements. Instead of saying, I can't do this, we can reframe it as, I can do this, one step at a time. By consciously choosing our words, we can shift our mindset from one of self-doubt to one of self-belief. Research has shown that positive self-talk can have a profound impact on our well-being. It can reduce stress and anxiety, boost self-esteem, and improve overall mood. By focusing on our strengths and believing in our abilities, we create a self-fulfilling prophecy, setting ourselves up for success. So the next time you're facing a challenge, remember to be your own cheerleader. Your words have power, so choose them wisely. Section 7 Negative Nelly Taming the Inner Critic While positive self-talk can empower us, negative self-talk can be equally debilitating. That inner critic, the one that tells you you're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough, can wreak havoc on your self-esteem and motivation. Negative self-talk often stems from deeply ingrained beliefs and past experiences. It can manifest as self-criticism, self-doubt, or catastrophic thinking. Left unchecked, it can lead to anxiety, depression, and a host of other mental health issues. The good news is that we can learn to tame our inner critic. The first step is awareness. Pay attention to your self-talk patterns. When do negative thoughts tend to surface? What triggers them? Once you're aware of your negative thought patterns, you can start to challenge and reframe them. Remember, you're not your thoughts. You have the power to choose which thoughts to entertain and which to let go of. Section 8. Finding Your Inner Voice. Tips for Effective Self-Talk. Now that we've established the benefits of self-talk, you might be wondering how to harness this powerful tool for yourself. Here are a few tips to get you started. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same compassion and understanding you would offer a friend. Avoid harsh criticism or self-judgment. Keep it positive and constructive. Focus on your strengths and past successes. Use affirmations and positive self-statements to boost your confidence. Be specific and realistic. Set achievable goals and break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. Use the present tense. Speak to yourself as if you're already experiencing the desired outcome. This helps to create a sense of belief and motivation. Practice, practice, practice. The more you engage in positive self-talk, the more natural it will become. Remember, self-talk is a skill that takes time and effort to develop. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. Let me hear you say one, two, three, four. Section 9. Self-talk across cultures. While self-talk is a universal human experience, its perception and practice can vary across cultures. In some cultures, talking to oneself is readily accepted and even encouraged, while in others it's viewed with suspicion or seen as a sign of social awkwardness. For example, in many Asian cultures, self-reflection and introspection are highly valued, and self-talk is seen as a natural extension of this inward focus. In contrast, in some Western cultures, there's a greater emphasis on extroversion and social engagement, and self-talk may be perceived as unusual or undesirable. These cultural differences highlight the importance of being mindful of our surroundings and social norms when it comes to self-talk. While it's perfectly healthy to engage in this behavior, it's also important to be respectful of others and their comfort levels. Section 10. Embracing the Silence, When Less is More While self-talk can be a powerful tool for self-improvement, it's also important to recognize that there's a time and a place for everything. Just as constant chatter can be overwhelming, excessive self-talk can become counterproductive. Sometimes the most beneficial thing we can do for our minds is to simply be still and embrace the silence. Meditation, mindfulness practices, and spending time in nature can help us quiet the inner chatter and connect with a deeper sense of peace and clarity. It's about finding a balance between the noise and the silence, between the chatter of our thoughts and the stillness of our being. 
When we can find that sweet spot, we create space for both introspection and tranquility. Section 11. The last word. Talk to yourself. It's okay. Talking to yourself might seem like a quirky habit, but it's actually a sign of a healthy, active mind. From boosting cognitive function to regulating emotions, the benefits of self-talk are numerous and well-documented. So the next time you catch yourself muttering under your breath, don't fret. You're in good company. Embrace your inner voice and use it to your advantage. After all, you're the best company you'll ever keep.